in the gospel text of today, which is taken from the gospel of Mark chapter 12, verses 28 to 34, a scribe asks Jesus a question which was a very important question at that time, and namely, which is the first commandment of all? At the time of Jesus, there were 613 laws, precepts and ordinances. Out of these 613, 365 were positive prescriptions, what must be done, whether regarding prayer, whether regarding almsgiving, whether regarding fasting, and 248 negatives, namely what they must not do. They must not kill, they must not steal, they must not covet the neighbor's vineyard. So the lawyer, the scribe, is asking out of these 613, which is the first, and he asks only about the first. In his response, Jesus brings together two separate Old Testament texts. Numbers chapter 6 verse 4, which was known as the Shema or the cry to hear that the Lord was one God and to worship the Lord with everything that one was, was the first commandment. However, Jesus brings another Old Testament book, Leviticus chapter 19 verse 18 and places it alongside number 6-4 when he says, the second, even though he's not asked about a second, he goes on to say the second is like the first. And Leviticus 19-18, you must love your neighbor as yourself. In other words, Jesus makes it very clear that love of God whom we cannot see is made tangible, is made real, is made practical in the love of the neighbor whom we can see. In his first letter, John chapter 4 verse 20 says very emphatically that if someone says that they love God, but that person cannot love his or her brother or sister, that person is untruthful, that person is a liar. Because he goes on to say, how can you say that you love God whom you cannot see, when you cannot love your neighbor, your brother or sister whom you can see? Some people think that love is blind. You'll be surprised that there is nothing as clear-sighted as love because love is clarity of perception and accuracy of response. When my perception is clear, when I look at a brother or sister and recognize a brother or sister and then I respond as I would to my brother or sister. Even though Jesus is asked about one, he makes the two one, which means that we can only love God by loving our neighbor. How will you show your love for God today?